Okay, I've been noticing lately that uh, groceries are really expensive, so I've just been experimenting with, uh, you know, saving money wherever I can. And this is something I've been doing every day, believe it or not, uh, this week. Making my own no-need uh, bread. So, get a 10-pound bag, 10 pound bag of flour right here. Uh, you need three cups of flour, and there's essentially 30 cups in there, so that gives me uh, 10 loaves of uh, bread, and the bag costs like four dollars and seventy cents, four fifty, something like that. So forty-five cents a loaf. You need some active dry yeast, which is you know you need a quarter teaspoon of that, and you need a teaspoon and a half of table salt. So that's all you need to make no knead bread, and the recipes are on the internet. I'm really not going to show you you know how I did it because you know there's better videos on how to do it but essentially you just take the quarter teaspoon of rice put in a cup and a half of warm water mix it up a teaspoon and a half of salt three cups of flour mix that all up put it in a bowl with a cover let it rise overnight you know there's debate on that anywhere from 12 to 18 hours i usually just do it about 12 hours when it's done it comes out like that which is pretty watery and you know not really nice looking and you just take put some flour in your hands put some flour on the table knead it into a a ball of sorts let it rise for another hour on a towel a clean towel with some flour dusted on it and then stick it in your oven at 400 degrees i use my small uh eight inch dutch oven right here and so i have to actually that makes too much to put in there so i split it into about two thirds and one third and then I just make a huge roll in this thing right here. So the other thing is you should preheat these in your oven for about 20 minutes. So get your oven going 400 degrees, preheat those, stick in your uh, dough, let it cook for about 30 minutes, take off the covers, let it cook for another 15 minutes. Make sure you let it uh, cool for an hour and you're all set. So you get a three pound loaf of bread. This is very heavy bread. This is again, about a half a loaf from the Dutch oven, and then I still have a, a roll after that. You get a very heavy bread uh, for about 60 cents, even with the electricity of the oven. The electricity of the oven for 45 minutes is really only about a dime or 12 cents. It's pretty, you know, electricity is pretty cheap considering what you get for it. Uh, I'm going to do one more video on making my own granola too, because I've been eating granola cereal, and that is expensive, four bucks a box, so I'll do a video on that. Okay, here's that dough all ready to go, and it's a uh, very wet dough. The left one will go in that Dutch oven. I'll let it rise for about another hour and stick it in the oven. And the right one will go in that little pot. And here's another batch right here all ready to rise. I'll let that rise for 12 hours. So that's the three cups of flour and teaspoon and a half of salt and a cup and a half of water and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Okay, here we are making uh, granola. Now the base ingredient in granola is oatmeal. Don't use the instant type. Use the, uh, got to cook it at least five minutes. And then after that, you can pretty much put whatever you want in it. I'm going to make four cups of oatmeal and use half a cup of honey and a quarter cup of corn syrup. Mix that together and bake that for about 20, 25 minutes. You want it dry but not burned. You got to toss it in the middle oven about 300 degrees. After it's baked, then I'm gonna put in my raisins, cup and a half of raisins, half a cup of chopped walnuts, quarter cup of sunflower seeds, some cinnamon, and then probably half a cup of this, what's called 10 grain hot cereal, just to uh, you know give you some quite a bit of nutrients. There's all kinds of good uh, grains in there. So it's not hard to make, it's very cheap. This should make about, uh, you know, at least two, two and a half pounds of oatmeal or granola, uh, probably three pounds. And one more cooking idea, lentils, spinach, uh, two strips of bacon, some dehydrated onions, and chicken bouillon. You know, that's again, not a good cheap meal. I'm no chef, but this is just stuff that works for me. And it's cheap, it's, uh, you know, I can eat it on the trail, and make it on the trail if I, if I need to or want to. So just another uh, playing around with cooking uh, cheaply.